Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this is an Ace Locks 4900 series tubular lock rim lock. Is that too many words? Probably. And this was given to me a very long time ago by my friend Rick, and I just absolutely love the box art and design on this. I don't know why, it just sort of appeals to me. Um, it's very cool anyway. And unfortunately, it doesn't come with a key. Not that we necessarily need one, we are, after all, lock picking. Uh, but it does come with an extremely long tail on this rim cylinder to uh, obviously go through a door and to a, a handle on the other side. Now I have done, so it also comes with all sorts of little bits in here like screws and scutcheons, but we probably don't need those. Um, I did a little exploration to see whether this one is guttable and it probably is, but it won't be on this video because well, I'll show you why. Take the tail piece off, don't need those. Um, it, this doesn't come out and I assume it's because of this press fit pin um, and I don't want to take it out because I'm worried that I'll never be able to put it back in and these Chicago Ace tubular rim cylinders are just not easy to come by this side of the pond so um, uh, yeah yeah I don't want to risk damaging it but it's nice just the way it is uh, straight out of the box as the factory intended and isn't it gorgeous I really love the look of this thing uh, so yeah, let's throw that in a vise. Like I said, don't have a key for it, but we don't need one. Throw it in a vise and see what it's like to pick. Okay, after much micro adjusting, I think we're here and I'm just gonna put some autofocus on the lock so that um, it's a little bit uh, easier on the eye. I'm just going to use a tubular tensioner like this and get some nice tension on. We shouldn't need too much in terms of force. I could put a little bit more on if I need to, just a uh, a broken pick and what we're going to do is just have a go around here now I can't remember whether these I have tapered pins in or not it's very possible um, but we'll soon find out nothing's binding yet maybe a little bit on six there and oh seven nice click on seven so seven was binding first and two Maybe a little bit on five, six. Oh, yeah, six there. Five, four, nothing, 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 nothing. Pin one, a little something there. Uh, four was really nicely binding, and I'll just push that down. Uh, I think back to seven, little click. Uh, I think they might have mild tapers on these because I am feeling that I'm picking these pins more than once so I'm only going to pick it one position just to show that we can pick this lock but if it's tapered pins then I imagine what we've got is just so much requires more patience than actual skill um, just keeping that turning force um, sort of constant and just going pin to pin just tapping the the tops of them just see whether they need to sort of reset at any point at the moment it feels like nothing's binding in particular but I'm getting some stickiness which normally indicates that I'm going between binding states on tapered pins so as I set one another one that was previously almost set binds again and yes we could try to use a, a, an impressioning tool on this, but um, where's the fun in that? I actually like picking locks. That's the, the fun challenge, not just using um, easy bypasses, uh, which is fun sometimes too, though, let's be honest. But uh, does you are missing out on something, I'd say. Can't put my finger on what, but definitely something when you use a bypass tool. Again, pin seven just felt like it was setting. If this takes too long, I'll speed the video up. So we just keep going around pin to pin.
and there we go picked a position and there we can just then remove the tool and show everybody that we are indeed picked a position what i'm not going to do is i'm not going to turn it much more than that because i don't want it to uh, move over to the next pin position because once i do that then i have to pick it all the way back again and well let's just say picking these tubular locks once is it's enough so there we go that's a close-up of it uh, picked uh, so that's that's really nice and everything uh, but when you think about it that took me about five minutes just to pick one position if you're going to use one of the manual tensioning tools to pick it let's say three four positions maybe all the way around whatever it took to open a door that will take you some considerable time not a lot of skill but a lot of time just due to the nature of those tapered pins that's why you might use a tubular lock impressioning tool like one of these to uh, you know get get in there an impression but these ones here they're not bad and they're relatively thin rimmed tools but even so this lock is so tight that i can't get this in this lock so that just shows that this is a little cut above some of the cheaper tubular locks out there often the ones made in china which have a lot more room for impressioning tools to work within uh, yeah, it's, it's a, a very slim, um, what do you call it, like inner, outer rim, whatever the bit that the key goes in. Um, it's just that, that cut above a, a lot of the other ones. And those taper pins, they're really cool. Anyway, I love this lock. I love the box it comes in. Um, so thank you to Rick for giving this to me so many years ago now. I hope you like this video. If you do, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you have a comment about this lock or know any tubular lock impressioning tools which fit the Chicago locks, do drop a comment. I do read them all, reply to as many as I can. And of course, I will see you all next time.